Hello, welcome to exercise two of lesson one. We're going to create a guess the letter game. We're going to output the following. I'm thinking of a letter between A and Z. Guess my letter. And here we're going to accept some keyboard input from the user. In this case, the special letter that we have in mind is W. And so if the user guesses a capital W or in this case, a lowercase W. So here we're gonna capture the different cases. If they capture capital or lowercase W, then we're going to say correct. If they guess any other letter of the alphabet, capital or lowercase, then we're going to say, nope, not correct. So that's basically what we have to do. This is a little bit uh, more enhanced than the last section because we're now looking for capital and lowercase on the input. So first what we're going to do is, of course, we always have to have our throws Java IO exception up at the top right before the opening curly brace. We'll define a character to accept uh, the input from the keyboard and then we're going to print our pair of text to the screen. I'm thinking of a letter between A and Z. Notice I put a uh, another backslash in there just to give me a little extra space and then I'm going to say guess my letter. I'm going to print that there and then I'm going to accept the input from the keyboard. So system.in.read returns an integer. I'm converting it to a character and storing it into my character variable. So I'm reading my character. Now the variable input contains whatever the user typed in uh, to the system. So then I have the first if, which is pretty easy to understand, but you got to look carefully because the if parentheses, the out of parentheses is this one and this one. You can kind of see it's barely highlighted over here. Inside I have two different conditionals. So if the input is equal to capital W or the input is equal to lowercase w, then we're going to print out correct. That's exactly how you read it. If the input is equal to capital W, or the input's equal to lowercase w output correct. So that means if either one of those things is true, then we're going to output correct. Now, if anything else is input, then we're going to put incorrect. And you have to watch carefully here because here I have, if the input is not equal to capital W, and if the input is not equal to lowercase w. So if the input's not equal to capital W and it's not equal to lowercase w, then the only other stuff that could be an in input from the keyboard's got to be is basically every single key other than capital and lowercase w. So we're looking to exclude the capital W and also exclude the lowercase w. So we have to use the and modifier, the logical and there. And if that happens, we're going to print incorrect. And then the program basically stops right there. So if we run this guy, I'm thinking of a letter between A and Z, guess my letter. So I'll click down there and I will say, all right, let's put lowercase w. We get correct. Let's try uppercase w, also correct, right? Because that's the secret letter, so to speak. If I put any other letter on the keyboard, whether it's lowercase, uppercase, whatever, it's going to be incorrect because uh, it basically is not going to trigger this guy unless the, the first if is only going to be triggered if you type a W and the second one's going to be triggered for everything else on the keyboard because we're excluding everything but capital and lowercase W. Now, one thing I'm going to say here is that the way we've kind of structured this program is to write two separate if statements. One statement is kind of what we're mostly looking for, the answer, the correct answer. And then the second if statement is really designed to catch everything else the user might type in and give you the incorrect result. This works fine for this program, but just keep in mind that we're going to be talking about uh, the else statement. You know, you might have heard of if else ladders in uh, most computer languages. So this is a very, very good example of when you might use an else statement to catch anything else that might actually happen after this if. And so this is uh, works fine. It's not you know terribly efficient. We're going to get to those statements here in a little bit in Java and you'll learn how to use the else statement to capture any other keyboard input that might come down that's not what you're expecting to have. But for now, this is a perfectly functional way to capture an input for a, a, a guess the letter type of game here in Java.